It's 11.27 p.m. and now we're in a new setup. Mainly because, you know, I should be sleeping right now and my mom's already asleep so I don't really want to wake her. So we're going to be more quiet and we're in the bedroom right now and I said to this guy. Yeah, anyways. So today we didn't get much done because yesterday I slept at 4 a.m. You know, smart moves right here, smart moves. And that was because I finished MVP stuff at 12 and then... I kind of read books, The Idiot by Dostoevsky, and just hung out, talked with parents for a bit. And then from one, I started working on competition stuff, which is also related to the MVP stuff. It's just I have to write and then explain my idea, explain implementation, financials, marketing plan, all that stuff. And you also have to research your impact and figure out how much impact you're going to get, you're going to be affecting. So that took a while, it took until 3.30, 3.45. Or actually, no, 3.20, and then I got upstairs, procrastinated for like 40 minutes, and went to bed at 4. It's not the best life decisions. And I didn't go to talk to restaurants today because there's another competition that I'm doing. And it turns out this one is a lot more important than I thought it was. So I'm going to spend more time on that, and it requires a slight pivot from the MVP idea. I have to focus more on the tech side, but also on the impact and implementation with this within a specific time frame. So it's a bit different. And I really want to do well in this. So I'm focusing on that right now. And I didn't get much done. I was pretty burnt out today. You know, I think a 4 a.m. bedtime could do that to you. So I just read for a couple hours in the morning. Um, watched a lot of Netflix. Like three hours in the afternoon. And in between I just hung out. Just vibed. I should have played some piano. But oh well. And yeah, that was pretty much the day. Uh, going forward, the plan is tomorrow on the car ride over to their house, which is like two and a half, three hours away. I'll be busy grinding out the competition stuff. And then once we're there, during my free time, I'll be sending emails to food rescue organizations. Um, Probably mainly just food rescue organizations because you can contact those online and get them to sign up. But I think it's a bit weird if you do it to grocery stores and restaurants. And I'll be doing that for them. Um especially Food Rescue Hero, because they already have a whole ecosystem of drivers ready to go, and they're pretty much doing the same thing we're going to do, except we'll be doing it on a larger scale. So I'm going to try to enlist them by the end of this weekend. That'd be nice. And just go talk to restaurants once we come back and just build a continuous cycle. So something interesting about life and just something fun. Let's see. Mm. I mean, I was watching this video on YouTube today just about, like, winning and doing well. And it says you need small wins, you know, to catapult you, to keep going, and to keep you going, like, the darker times. I need to say like less. Anyways, I think it's interesting. I've been told that by a couple friends, older classmates, seniors, when I was a sophomore. I didn't really understand that too well, but I think I, I really get it now. But yeah, that was just something interesting. Today is, I think, day three or four. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed now because I practice at seven. So bye-bye.